so no one's on right now. Um, so we're just going to hang out for a bit and wait okay. for people to get on. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see if they comment because I don't have another device to anywhere. Do that with. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's got the big chair? <laughs> Guess not, who's on a stool? <laughs> it's not noticeable at all, isn't it? <laughs> You're taller than me anyways. Yeah. So, uh -huh. You win this round. When I do a video with you, you're sitting on this stool a lot. I'm in the chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just wanted to ask, but like, I think we could get something similar for me. Well, I'm going to get a much different one. Um, I like this one. I got this one at the beginning, and you can see that it's definitely Wear tilted. Wear No, oh. tilted. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm kind of saying, you know, it's like, because this kind of matches, like, the aesthetic of, like, what you do. Mm. Yeah, I want to get a much different one, um, for the background, and I want to make sure it's level next time. <laughs> uh, no, 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 what I'm saying is that I want to do, I want to have, like, a background like this. I know. For my videos. I'm thinking we'll both get, like, a standard one. Okay. At least one standard one for, that'll work for both of our videos, and then when we get into the new house... Um, we'll do our separate ones. Yeah, we'll have separate spots. Yeah, like... Like, uh, you'll have a more... Halloween style. Huh. Since that's the one you like. Well, actually... Or do you want more, um... Well, it's like, what I do is that I talk about film. Shakespeare. Well, I was kind of, you know, because I like to talk about film. Like, you know, like, is there anyone that would maybe show, like, a projector or... Uh, maybe some kind of movie screen. Oh, or no, something. we would have to really look. Okay. But I'd, I'd be willing to look. All right, we've already been on here for like two minutes, and nobody's on here, but I'm going to show this. Because Llama. <laughs> Her favorite. <laughs> I just decided to get those. Um, so let's see. Wait. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know what to do while everybody's coming i think i'll wait a little while until everybody's on here or if anybody shows up but so you just want to um, go smoke in the meantime or just oh okay. sneak peek <laughs> gold so uh i need more yarn seriously <laughs> yes even though i've got all the yarn that's in there, too? That's not enough? No. Or the ones you haven't acted? No, that's not enough. Damn, one. The stuff that I act in that I'm probably going to sort through and do giveaways with. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking personal stash. Oh, okay. Like, that bin is the stuff that I make that I sell. Mm -hmm. The one behind it, that I'm using to make hats, which I could probably do one. Would you ever be willing to make a hat for my mom? Okay. That's, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to say I didn't have to <laughs> nudge you that hard to, to that suggestion. When my Whenever my mom asked me to make her something, I really hesitated because she didn't really want... She wasn't really going to use it. Aww. I know I'm going to be wearing that sweater you're making for me mm -hmm. around Christmas. It looks nice. Look at what he got for his birthday. Actually, won't you? Mm. Yeah. It's a little... Black onyx and diamond. It's a little big, but, you know... It's resizable. It's yeah. good to get it big. That way you can resize it. Overall, I had a terrific birthday. Yeah. Uh, his birthday was, what, yesterday? Yesterday. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, but um, there was a lot of fun things that happened yesterday. I went and saw It Chapter it, 2. Oh. If you don't break it, you can put that tub on top of the seat that you're on. Mm. If it breaks. You're buying me a new one. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Well, you gotta pull the thing out a little right. further. There we go. Ah. There you go. Hi. Just don't break it. <laughs> I'll try. 
But yeah. I wonder, will this thing go up or... <laughs> hmm. Whoops. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, like I had a terrific birthday yesterday. One of the best ones I've had in years. Like just... For those of you who don't know, my dad loves birthdays. He thinks... It's not a birthday unless you have something to unwrap and a cake. So he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> um, but it's like it was just it was it was just great. Like you know, I got to see it chapter two with my mom. Uh, we had a couple of beers while we saw that at Smitty's. Uh, we came back. We uh, had a glorious feast for lunch. Yeah, and uh, when I, I got... go to edit this, the description. Yeah. Which I usually do that afterwards because I can never do it while I'm actually doing a live, because it won't allow me to, Yeah. then I'll add in a link to your channel. Oh, thank you. Which he is not a partner with YouTube or getting any type of monetization whatsoever. He only has one video. Because somebody is pushing him to start doing his own channel. Because he goes out and sees movies that a lot of people typically would not see or would not be a fan of or even hear of. Yeah, like, you know, uh, she's telling me to review a movie that I wanted to watch recently that we got from Netflix called The Souvenir. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be doing a video on that. Yeah, um, he's going to do that. He's going to watch it tonight, and then I'm going to have him do a review right after. I was actually kind of thinking... But I'm going to teach him how to schedule videos because I helped him download well, YouTube Studio and all that. Well, what I wanted to say is that sometimes, like, for me, when it comes to, like, watching films, mm -hmm. sometimes I want to let the film maybe sit for a day or something, all depending right, on my ahead. feelings. So, depending on how I react to it, who knows? Like, you know, kind of looking at my review I did of it yesterday... Yeah. There was, like, a lot of other things I was thinking, like, the next day I was like, oh, crap, how, how did I miss that? How did I forget to talk about that? That, 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 so. Yeah, well, that's you like... can always go back and add more videos, like, um, say that this is part two to this video that I did, mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Like, so. you know, I, one of the scenes from It that I can't believe I forgot to mention was a bit where Pettywise sings. <laughs> <laughs> well, for anyone who hasn't seen It Chapter 2, don't listen <laughs> not until you've seen it and then go see his no, review no wait <laughs> <laughs> i love you uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> look people i'm drinking a frozen margarita right now so i'm a little she's having he's some he's opening too. up yep more than usual <laughs> And as you can see, I don't drink that much of mine. I also have a bit of a headache right now, but I could give a fuck. I don't swear that much on my channel. All right. Like, once in a blue moon. All right. And this is the first time they've actually seen alcohol on this channel. Mm. <laughs> Fucking moral guardians. Sometimes there are children that watch my videos. Mm. <laughs> Censor your mouth. Okay, dear. <laughs> Look, when I lose, I apologize for his potty mouth. <laughs> Look, you want me to lose? I always apologize for mine when I swear. Mm. Like, pardon my French and all that. Like. <laughs> Make sure to do that. I, I, can do that I don't too. know how many kids are watching this. I know I have one friend that has a kid that's watching. Sorry. My channel. <laughs> mm. At the same time, though, there are a lot of eight-year-olds who go on Xbox Live and scream profanities far worse than I say. So. Like good boys. <laughs> you want to know something? The things that those kids said in Good Boys was were... tame. Not only that, but it was just p more polite in comparison to the kind of crap you'd hear on, like, Xbox Live or such. Like, you know, like, I've heard... Hi! That's what I did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're just all over the place uh, waiting for a couple people to join in. Shooting the breeze. I'm hoping I can... Oh, let's see if it'll let me do the live chat. Um, 
I don't know if I'll be able to see your comments because I don't know if it'll pop up really fast or if I'll be able to go back and see it or whatever because I don't have anything beside me to see any of the uh, comments. Mm -hmm. But excuse his potty mouth. <laughs> don't worry, I'll behave myself now. <laughs> and don't mind the alcohol. Just tell them it's a fruit smoothie. In that kind of a glass? Yeah, right. I used to drink ginger ale in a wine glass. And I used to drink soda in a wine glass. But now I don't. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so this is a Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month unboxing. And it is in... Hand it over. Dramatic effect. Even though it's off to the side. There we go. <laughs> A gold bag. So it looks a little, a lot more uh, yellowish on there, but this is a gold bag and it's a Paradise Fibers one. Can we show them a little bit? Let's see. There we go. And yes, I am an affiliate with Paradise Fibers. So once I edit the description, because for a live, it doesn't let me do that, I'm actually going to put all of my information, including the link down below. Let's see if I can get this open without hurting anything. Since we have dogs to take care of, don't want to be too long on the live. Mm -hmm. Including a big giant boy who cries a lot. Especially since my lives usually take about half an hour or so. Mm -hmm. um, but just now cut it open. The first thing I see is like a potato sack. <laughs> hey, and I love it. <laughs> let's use it for the deep fryer. <laughs> no, I mean it. I love it. Ooh, What's this? Smell that. Whoa, is that, is that vanilla? Or is that cinnamon? Cinnamon. But first thing you pull out is a burlap potato sack, pretty much. That smells fantastic. Oh, I know what that smell is. That's pumpkin spice. No wonder it smelled familiar. Ah, oh, that's why they're doing pumpkin spice. Fall featured artist. Mm. Usher in autumn by celebrating this harvest season with patterns and tutorials by talented makers. And I might have him read... Oh, crap. Oh, here's the pamphlet for Paradise Fibers. But, uh, let's see. Oh, there's crocheted mittens and some knitted ones. And... Oh, it's nice. So, I'm going to hand this page. Hi to whoever just tuned in. Um, this is the September 2019 Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month kit. It came in a gold package. And then a burlap sack came out. <laughs> that reeks of cinnamon. I mean, no, pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. They but, all smell great. But go ahead and start reading. Oh, all right. Can I, I also read this bit? Or... Yeah, just like... All right. Let's see. The... Let's start with the How to Line Mittens with by Fleece. Ro by Roxanne Richardson. This in-depth, easy-to-follow video tutorial demonstrates how to line knitted mittens with fleece to make them warmer. Three styles of mittens are demonstrated. Side thumb... What does that say? Hmm? Where are you? Side thumb... Gusset? Uh, yes. Alright. Side thumb, gusset, pleasant thumb, and palm thumb... Peasant thumb and palm thumb, gusset. Yeah. Head over to YouTube.com and search for Roxanne Richards. Your box is going to smell amazing. <laughs> it literally, it the second you open it up, you are overwhelmed with the smell. And it smells like fall. And I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. Mainly because it's got Halloween in it. That's a good reason to. Like, I've got... Like, I like the summer because I get to tan... If I'm outside, which this year I really tanned up, <laughs> more like burnt up, <laughs> but, 
But fall is by far my favorite season. I have two reasons why I like fall a bunch. I get to wear sweaters. I have two reasons why I like fall a bunch. My birthday's in September. Mm-hmm. And also Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a little more partial to winter. Because I just... I love snow. I know it's a pain in the ass, but... I have a weird inherent love for it. I like fall because that's when it starts to get cold. But it's cold enough where you need a sweater. And you get to snuggle up in front of a fireplace if you have one. I love that. And hot chocolate with marshmallows. (laughs) I actually haven't had hot chocolate in years. And great smelling packages. Mm. I think it's starting to lose its luster. Oh, it's still there. Okay. It's still very potent. (laughs) Ha! (laughs) <laughs> I hate the winter too Mainly I know. because I'm the one that has to shovel in here at this house Which we are going to be in a different house uh, Way later on This mm-hmm. Who the hell knows Probably by next summer we'll be in that um, But we'll I like to keep the driveway Bone dry <laughs> So I'm out there at 9 o'clock in the morning shoveling in jeans and a sweatshirt all winter long. Bundle up more. Put on a night jacket. Or come, come on. on. Oh, you were the one who interrupted it, so. Yeah. And search for Roxanne Richardson to watch her video to get started on your own fleece-lined mitts. Roxanne Richardson has been knitting since 1986 and teaching, and knitting, teaching knitting since 2008. She is a certified master hand knitter, certified in 2012 by TKGA, the Knitting Guild Association, Certified Knitting Teacher Level 2, certified in 2012 by CYCA, the Craft Yarn Council. That sounds ominous. <laughs> you can find Roxanne on the Raverly... On Raverly? Is that it? Or Raverly? Um, some people pronounce it different. R- Ravelry is pretty much how it's pronounced. Okay. On Ravelry, under the name Rox. In March 2010, she received uh, Ravelry's. Ra- Ravelry's Bobby Award for Most, educa- K- Most Educational Raveler. Uh, at, this, at the time, she had a column in This Week in Ravelry uh, called Ask a Knitter. Many of, her videos, uh, many of her early videos were created as supplemental material for her columns. Thanks for contributing, Rox. You can ask Rox knitting questions in a Ravelry group, R- Rox Rox. <laughs> and for those of you who want to know, the group is spelt capital R-O-X and then rocks. <laughs> so, and then you've got about two different patterns. This is the knitting one right here, and then this is the crocheted one. So, I'm actually going to start more trying to get into the knitting. I'm very interested in it, so... Wow. What? Um, in a pair of mittens where you have like three colors, you pretty much end up with 150 yards total of yarn used. And that's worsted weight. Jeez. It's got to be a lot more for sport and fingering. (laughs) But do you want to keep reading that or do you want to move on? Um, I suppose we can move on. Alright. Well, let's see. Alright, um, okay. The patterns will actually leave when I get to the description after the video. I'll let you know the name of the pattern, and then who it's by, and then where you can get them. They have the links down below. So I'll let you know exactly where you can get them. Uh, I'll let you know if if it's the knitted pattern or the crocheted pattern. What are you doing? Look, it's like, I'm looking right here and it feels like I'm bending the, the, um, strong. Just sit. Okay. (laughs) Because you've got a lot to read. He's got all this, and then he's got an entire second page to read. I'd rather read a Russian novel. (laughs) So, uh, I'm gonna hand this over to him. Oh boy. And he's not gonna read the in your box part yet. 
but the let's show you the picture this is the Lester sheep and just within this last summer I learned how to pronounce that word Lester because it is spelt weird but it's pronounced Lester so go ahead and start reading must be regional differences hmm. <clears throat> Celebrate the arrival of the blustery autumn season with a buttery, soft, and cozy natural fiber from blue-faced Lester sheep. This month, our destination lies over the great blue ocean across the rocky seasides of Ireland, past the Isle of Man, and into the lush farmlands of Leicestershire, England. We hope you enjoy this luxurious natural fiber, a hot cup of autumn... autumn I don't know where you are. I'm right here. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Autumn Monal Tea? Yeah. Okay. Autumn Monal Tea and our featured project this month, Fleece Lined Mitts. Like a number of English cities. Don't uh, mind me, I'm just sniffing the bag because it smells really good. <laughs> Lester is an easy, easier to say than it is to spell. You might be wondering, why is uh, Lester pronounced Lester? To find the answer to this question, we should travel to the Shakespearean era, where the abbreviated way of pronunci pronunci <clears throat> pronouncing places, which names in Cester began. Cester, an old English word which comes from the Latin word castra, meaning camp, originally meant a Roman encampment in ancient Britain. Cester eventually, eventually developed its Esther pronunciation in the 18th century. William Johnston's A, Pronu A Pronouncing and Spelling Dictionary, 1764, notes that the C is not pronounced in the words such as Leicester, Gloucestershire, uh, uh, Gloucestershire, Worcester? Mm. I think that's how I'm saying it right. Which makes them two syllable seats words. For a sec? Yeah. While you read, that'd be more comfortable. There you go. Thank you. It's nice to sit on some that has actual seating on it. Oh, you actually were. I told you, but you didn't believe me. No. No. However, the English remember Cester as a typonymic suffix, which is adapted variously as Cester, uh, Caster, Chester, such as uh, Leicester, Lancaster, or Manchester. You can now uh, you can now grocery shop with confidence, knowing how to pronounce uh, Worcestershire. <laughs> so that was just the first like two paragraphs. I'm gonna have to read the back, aren't I? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, crap! <laughs> he likes doing the unboxings with me. I'm making him read it. A native to uh, Leicestershire happens to be the man who first introduced and bred the ancestor to the blue-faced Lester that we know and love today. Robert Bakewell is his name in agriculture, sheep breeding, cattle breeding, and scientific, bleh, scientific management is his game. Robert... W Keep going. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Robert was born in 1725 in Dishley, Leicestershire. England, where he lived on a pr productive and influential life until his... You're getting a little bit of a history review on the sheep called Lester. That's where you get Lester wool and all of that and how it came to be, how it got its name. And it actually comes from the Shakespearean time. Yeah. <laughs> so... Thank you. <laughs> until his death in 1795. Robert's farm became a famous model of scientific management due to his progressive methods, many of which are still being commonly practiced today. He revolutionized the sheep and cattle breeding industry in England by methodical selection, inbreeding, and culling. As a young man, he traveled through Europe learning agriculture techniques and surfing as an apprentice to, her fa bleh, to his father's farm in Dishley. In 1760, he inherited his family's farm and began cultivating his pioneering breeding techniques. By deciding to separate male and female livestock to prevent random breeding, he was able to reach great success in his breeding and fiber production. His method for his success was to cull out undesirable traits and exaggerate desirable traits through inbreeding. Oh, great, incest. 
<laughs> this revolutionary process is how we created uh, Leicestershire Longhorn cattle and Leicester sheep. A barrel-shaped animal that produces long, lustrous, and strong wool. You can show them the picture. So, that's the sheep. I have to keep reading, don't I? Alright, hang on. There are two very long paragraphs left. You can put I it down. I did this section. These are the other two. Now, should we put him through reading the other two? I'll leave it up to you guys. Hmm. I think that's a yes. <sighs> yep. <laughs> so, originally yeah. named, originally named Dishley Lester. The descendants of Robert Bakewell's improved breed were given the name Blue Faced Lester in the mid 1800s near Hexham in uh, Northern Berlin, England. Wow, this must be around the same time the favorite was going on. This breed is one of the three Lester Longwold breeds created by means of Robert Bakewell's practices. The English Lester Longwold, the Border Lester, and the Blue Face Lester. The fleece of the Blue Face Lester is the finest of all three breeds, making it the softest. The Blue Face Lester was created primarily from the old Border Lester stock, which we known for their darker skin pigment and finer fleece. By carefully selecting ewes and rams, demonstrating the best characteristics from this breed and the white fleece, blue skin Winsleydale. Winsleydale, thank you, breed, the blue faced Lester was cultivated. The first generation cross is traditionally called the mule, starring Clint Eastwood. You might be surprised to know that some of the most popular breeds used for production of mule ewes in the UK are Scottish blackface. Oh boy. Uh, Sweet Dale, Balua. Did I say that right? Balua? Yep. Okay. Uh, Welsh Mountain, Chevier. Cheviot, and Clun Forest. Yep. Okay. Due to their higher quality characteristics and finer wool, the Blue Face Lester is quickly spread throughout England, Scot Wales, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, replacing the Tess Water or Tees Water. Tees Water. Tees Water breed as pride cross as as the prized crossing sire. BFL is known today as the Great Improver, following in the footsteps of its ancestor, the Dishley Lester. And for those of you who don't know, BFL is short for Blue-Faced Lester. <laughs> so you've got another huge part back. Mm-hmm. This isn't even a... All right. Uh, da, da, da. All right, no. So that last paragraph is if you want to dig even deeper and get your Paradise Fiber kits or experiment with different fibers to go to paradisefibers.com and I will actually have my affiliate link in the description box below after this video is over. So... We can actually trade places again. Aw, I like sitting in an actual seat. <laughs> Come on. Blech. There we go. Mm. And I'll take my drink. <laughs> and you can take you can take yours. Pig. <laughs> you know you love me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go down the what's in your box. So there's four ounces of natural blue-faced Lester and Tessa Silk blend. It's a 75-25 blend. So that means there's 75% uh, blue-faced Lester and 25% Tessa Silk. There's four ounces of natural white and brown Blue faced Lester mix. There's two swatches of poly fleece fabric to make fleece lined mitts with. Oh. Um, 
one on a model stash T non GMO from Portland, Oregon. Of course, you get your limited edition sticker. And this one is <laughs> pumpkin patch, <laughs> like pumpkin patch. <laughs> Uh, point, e point it out. E W E is you. Oh, that's a pun, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, e W E is you. I know. I, I I get. The, I'm just asking. Is, is it a pun? And a sheep is called is it a, a pun? you. So yes, it's a pun. They always put a little pun in that's here. That's all you had to say to me. They yeah. always put a pun in here. Oh you dear have God! To. You have to because uh. it's sheep. It's shape, but do the shape like puns? Okay, uh, the non-international boxes are scented with purely pumpkin, a luxurious shimmering... What are you doing? Adjusting this. Okay. Uh, the code will be down in the description box below after the video. Because, again, it won't let me add the description while I'm doing a live. But um, there'll be a 10% coupon code for those of you who want to start getting your Paradise Fibers boxes. Which I actually really recommend you do. It's fun. Burn me! <laughs> Whether you're a knitter, a crocheter, you want to start with spinning, which... A couple people actually are starting with spinning on here, and I'm very happy that I was the one who inspired a couple of you to do that. Um, I was inspired by Rebecca from Chemnitz Tutorials, and I just loved the fact that you could dye your own yarn, and even more so, make your own yarn and then dye it. So that's why I looked for an affordable kit to do and I looked at Into the World which was Whirl, that's a pun, <laughs> where it's the spinning whirl on your spinning wheel. They're really expensive, a lot more expensive than Paradise Fibers. Paradise Fibers you get to experiment with so many different blends and still be able to afford a coffee the next day. <laughs> um, you can visit their blog at blog.paradisefibers.com for spinning tutorials, which I haven't really been on there. I, I'm on their Instagram, their Ravelry, their Facebook, their YouTube, everything. And I just haven't visited their blog in quite a while. And their Ravelry group is the Real Paradise Fibers. Uh, and the best thing about that is you can meet other spinners, other felters, knitters, crocheters, weavers, all of that. And they supply all those supplies, too. Like, if you need a spinning wheel or... Hi! <laughs> so I'm gonna get to opening the burlap sack took you long enough real soon <laughs> she said hi to you oh hi there <laughs> um oh as you can also have another uh coupon code that i'll actually add in which is where you get to enjoy 20 percent off their country classic dies with a certain code but the offer ends on the 30th of this month so I'll make sure to add that into this video and let's get started so you can hold that so I can see don't put it anywhere cuz I'm gonna need it I can just put it right next to your little Ooh. tablet right here no Why not? because I'm gonna need to see it I'm gonna need to see it so, Ooh. Oh. what what's that what what happened? Oh. Okay, I'm... Ooh. I'm gonna have to pick these up. These are little, um... Let me smell. Like, seeds. Oh. That's where they're getting the scent. 
Love it. We're going to have to pick all of those up. Oh, crap. <laughs> and this is definitely going to be used as a project bag. Why no, don't we just use it for some no kind of doubt. Halloween de decoration? No. Why not? Um, Why not? Because eh. I said so. <laughs> Got more of those little seeds. Or Answer incomplete. Needs more elaboration. <sighs> Alright. So when you get it out, this is what you see. Leaves all over the tissue paper. And they do that every week. Don't see where I dropped any of the other stuff, so we're good <laughs> for now. <laughs> but the tissue paper every every month is very different, and every box is very different, as you can see. Oh, oh cool! Oh, that's so cute. They add little leaves in here. I'm talking about the thing that's cute on the I front. I know. I saw that. Then show it to them. I can't lift this up without. Everything falling. Well, let me just. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and get it. <laughs> so, see, there we go. A little bit. <laughs> because this isn't in a box, and I don't have the right size box anywhere. Because all of the boxes that I have to store everything is upstairs, way away from here. Let's see, more little leaves. I'm gonna put all of those in here so that I don't lose them. <laughs> Hold that. Sorry. This stuff's going oh. everywhere. Oh. Here is the mm. Sash Maple Apple Cider Caffeine Free Tea. So. It's non-genetically modified, which I love. Um, is there a taste and flavor between... Genetically modified. And... Uh, genetically modified is really bad for you. Oh, no. there's little acorns. Oh dear God, <laughs> acorns, my sworn enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for hitting the button. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it for you, dear. <laughs> yeah, okay. But then there's also <laughs> little cutout leaves. Little metallic leaves, all going in the bag so that I don't lose them, because I know I'm gonna. Because you're so clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she admits it. Hey, at least I'm smart enough to. Mm. Don't you mean not stubborn enough? No, smart enough. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so here's all the tissue paper. Does it still have the smell on it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and right here. But. Here's the pu pumpkin patch. This little sticker. Had fun pronouncing that, didn't you? Yeah, some of the time, most of the time, I can't pronounce the little stickers that they have. But look at that, it's I so cute. I want to touch it. It's so cute. Oh, God, it's eyes. Looks like it's got a pair of glasses. And then here we have the fleece. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Here we have the fleece for the mittens so that when you make mittens, you can actually line them. It's nice and soft, isn't it? Very. So let's see if I can get that back in the bag. Probably will because this is fleece and not actual wool. Come on. Well, it is. Fleece is wool. It's just in a different form than what Paradise... I can't get it in there. Let me do it. Nope. <laughs> Why not? Because I said so. I don't have caveman hands, if that's what you're implying. Are you sure about that? I am. <laughs> and then here we have this bag. So it's a nice little plastic bag with kind of like an organza bag top to it. Where's the paper? So the first one... As I you can hear in the background, we have a... Pretty big dog. The first one I can automatically tell this is the Blue Faced Lester and Tessa Silk. There's really nothing to it. It's nice and white, but it's soft. Oh, mama. It's really soft. Love it. It looks like a snowball. <laughs> it's 
wrapped up snowball. Well, yeah, that's called a nest. Or, well, that one's actually in a ball. But if it's um, wrapped kind of like that, it's called a nest. Mm. But this is the brown and... The natural and the brown blue-faced Lester mix. So you've got nice brown that actually has some gray in it. And then you've got the white, natural. Mm. Mm. I love the smell of fresh wool. <laughs> mm. Whether it's been processed or not, it smells great to me. I think that's because I'm such a yarnaholic. I think so too, because <laughs> I smell that and I think to myself, why does that sound like something that... Why does it smell like something that'd be at my grandma's place or something? <laughs> I get called a grandma all the time. Nah. Because I crochet. Hmm. <laughs> but those I can easily get back in the bag. Unlike the other thing, which I could offer my services to, but somebody won't let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> but here we have the regular blue-faced... The plain white blue faced Lester with the Tessa silk, and then the natural and brown Lester. And then we have the fleece and the sticker. Yay! Look at that guy. Isn't he cute? I can't get over that. <laughs> do you want me to do it for you? No. What? No. Not me, the most like, just like, what are you thinking, you madman? Look. And then, of course, we've got the tea, which we're probably going to try out tonight. And I will make sure to link these patterns and let you know which one's the knitted, which one's the crochet, in the description box below after this has ended. kind of mad that my thing won't let me edit anything while it's live, but oh well. Well, that's the point. It's a live stream. Mm. Also, about that tea, it's probably poison. She's going to feed it to me, and I'm probably going to like it. He's <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Kiss me my gold before I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's from a movie that he really likes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is a movie nerd. Mm -hmm. And he did his very first review, and I'm going to be linking his channel down below as well. Mm -hmm. And at that, and in that little video that I uploaded, it also leads to uh, links to my Twitter and Letterboxd if you're curious. You don't have to, you know, follow me or subscribe to me, but if you like what you see, go right on ahead. <laughs> and he doesn't do Facebook, so first person my age that I've ever met that doesn't do Facebook. I know. I'm an anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. Well, fuck Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Language. All right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have found a kindred spirit. You got that from Anne of Green Gables. Ha. Hmm. Good point. A movie that I showed him. Yeah, and I liked it. He just hasn't seen the second, third, or fourth dvd well we've got so much to we're do we're there like three hours yeah piece. yeah hey i you know it's like i like long movies so we were able to get past that first part pretty quick mm -hmm. uh, we've been i've been showing her a bunch of other stuff that she probably would have never tried out and results have been pretty good yeah but if anyone is interested definitely go to paradise fibers and this month the package is gold. Yes. <laughs> gold is good. So, I love all the little touches, and I want to reference back to my very first Paradise Fibers kit. That one also was in a bag, so we've actually come f full circle. <laughs> uh, September was the first time I got my first Paradise Fibers bag, and it was an actual bag. And I didn't notice that on one side it was clear. So you actually had a drawstring bag with fiber and everything in it. Yeah. 
Good imitation. Looks pretty good too. They put a lot of thought into every single kit that they do. And I love it. I still have about three, maybe four boxes up there that I haven't gotten to yet because it's been a whirlwind of it's been chaos. Everything. It's been chaos. Like we've just been going through so much things regarding our. Personal I used to lives. have darn good yarn, but I won't she do that again. She's not a fan. I won't do that again because it's like they're pawning off all of their chunky silk roving yarns to everybody, and that's the one that they don't want. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like it, and I don't like the smell that comes with it. Ugh. Whereas these people not seem to have a better grasp of, or at least, you know, they're not hogging the good stuff. Yeah. For thirty four ninety nine, you really get a lot. And I know it doesn't look it to most people, but you not only get the box, you get so many... They seem to be changing the smells. Yeah, they did actually go down on the smell, but... Hmm. um. With Paradise Fibers, they go, jeez, they do a lot more than just that. It's different tissue paper every single time. And within that year, if you ask him about a box that you've seen someone else had or seen on their site that they had from months before, they're more than likely going to have that box mm -hmm. and they'll be able to send it to you because... That's what I did. Uh, when I got my September one, I asked him about the July box that was before that, which was by then it wasn't July, it was September. <laughs> and I got that box. Yeah, very what? little yardage on the darn good yarn. Little yardage? Yeah, uh, they only do 50 grams of fiber which is hardly anything oh what would you say is like the standard for darn good yarn yeah 50 grams which no, is no 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 50 what, yards what i'm saying is like you know like what would be like the standard for like paradise fibers oh uh, let's see uh standard they do at the very least six to eight ounces of fiber mm -hmm. and that's fiber that you're either going to felt or spin up and then crochet or knit up which working with it I have some projects over there it's a blanket that I'm working on and I think I'm only going to finish this square and then start another square and then once that one's done I've got four squares done no more because <laughs> I want to do more than that I want to do either sell the yarn that I make from paradise fibers or I'm actually going to make more Okay. I don't want to do just a blanket, but I might. Okay. I don't know yet. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, they never put that much in the memberships, which is stupid. If you've got someone that's paying every month for a kit, you'd want more than just 50 yards. Uh... I can't see spending all that money on such little bit of yarn. I mean, I love that the money's going to a good place, but you gotta show a little more. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, quick question. Hmm. Have you noticed that this video's been going on for almost 50 minutes? Yeah, I know. I told you mine lasts for at least half an hour of the lives. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I wasn't saying that in a negative way. I was just kind of like, wow, we've been chatting a lot. <laughs> mm. So shall we end it now? Or is there anything um, else you need to say? I don't know. Is there any questions you guys have for us? We're open. He's new to the channel. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've appeared in a couple of your other videos. Yeah, but it's only been three months. Oh, good point. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while. I, mm, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right in that technicality. I was thinking in a different way, but... Okay. Thank you. I'm definitely going to make sure I get all the links down in there. Um, I have my standard stuff, and then I'm going to add in 
all of You'll see in the description of the video, um, the name of it is my... My thing is weird. Is it everybody's? Well, my device is weird. It doesn't, oh, oh, that. It doesn't always let me put a link in, so... Yeah, I know that feeling. But, happy fall, everybody! The paper still smells like pumpkin spice! Give it to me. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah. So, um, before we go, if you guys want to see and join in on the Paradise Fibers unboxings, they ship them after the 5th, like on the 5th and after the 5th, and by the 10th of the month is when you have your kit. I usually have it by the 7th, but it was a little bit too much of a... <laughs> I... Um, we're just ending the video, but you can go all the way back and watch it. Yeah. Uh, we started off waiting for people to join. I'd say around the time the, you know, the actual meet begins is like around the 9 to 10 minute mark. Yeah. So, but if you want to stick around at the very beginning and watch it all. Yeah. Go right ahead. It's funny. And what was I just saying about Paradise Fibers? Mm. Oh, that's right. Um... Typically, I get it by the 7th, but it was, uh, what was it, Memorial Day or something? You no. didn't, I didn't even hear any mentions of Memorial it, Day. Mine got a little, mine got to me a little late. It got me, got to me today. Um, so at the very least, by the 10th of every month, there will be a video. You just gotta look for it. Um, I'm going to start making sure that I do these lives around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock at night. That way, you guys are out of work, you guys can watch it, and join in, and all of that. Mm -hmm. And he'll be joining more. Yeah, um, and, you know, like... And I'm yes, gonna... I'm going to make sure he reads... Ugh. I'm also going. I'm also going to have her feature in some of my videos. Like, we're planning to do kind of a <clears throat> double bill review... Uh, in the coming weeks of two films that are coming out next weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see the Rambo one. And I want to see Odd Ostra, the sad space movie with Brad Pitt looking for his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, none of you will see Maria again because I had to give her to a new home. We don't have the room here. And with mm -hmm. the move going on, well, that's going to be happening at some point. We just don't have the room for it. But plus, you will see Sophia. Plus, her behavior was kind of unacceptable as of late, so... Yes, little Sophia got sick. And she doesn't like my big boy, Kane. No. So she started bullying Sophia once Sophia got sick, and I was just... Nope, not doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't let her bully the youngest... Well, not... She's not the youngest. No. The smallest <laughs> yes, one. Yes, yes. Because Sophia, you've, you guys have seen her. She's small. She's not getting any bigger. And and they've seen Kane before. They have? Yeah, in the, in that video we did of Midsummer, uh, he showed up briefly. Stitch marker on the floor. <laughs> yeah, in, in that yeah. video we did of Midsummer, she's, Kane showed up. She's in a pretty good home. Mm -hmm. Someone that's actually going to take care of her and... If my mom's screaming at me from above, saying, why'd you get rid of my dog? She's okay. The dog's okay. She's in a good home. I met with the lady and everything. I was going to ask, can we have, like, Kane show up in, like, in a little guest appearance? Or do you think he'd be a little too disruptive? Yeah, but not in here because... Because <laughs> there's animal fiber in here. He'll go after it. Oh, yeah. He He'll... already goes after my yarn. Yeah, yeah. He's a puppy. He doesn't know any better and he just kind of sees it and he's like oh that's a new toy for me yeah especially when it's yarn for a sweater for him <laughs> but yeah uh maria's not gonna show up in any more videos but sophia will and kane most likely will yeah uh but yeah <laughs> all right so, one last time, since I'm an affiliate with Paradise Fibers, go to the link once I have it set in the description below, and get your gold package today.
Well, order it today. Whatever. <laughs> and it'll ship out really fast. So, have a delightful day, and happy hugging, everyone! Bye!